Hey what's going on guys, it is Jaco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 Concepts. And today we're going to be talking about car details. Of course if you guys would like to check out any of the previous or future episodes of GTA 6 Concepts where we discuss some things we'd love to see in GTA 6, I'll leave the full playlist down below in the description as well as let me know some other concepts and topics you guys would like to talk about in the comments down below. In the GTA 6 leaks back last year, September of 2022, we saw a lot of things about car interior interiors and other customization options and just controls and these other crazy details we'll be able to interact with in vehicles in GTA 6. There was things about reclining the seats, raising and lowering the seat height and sun visors, sunroofs, sun like there were so many different details that we saw through this GTA 6 footage. Having the ability to adjust your seats, adjust mirrors, uh, sunroofs, sun visors, like I was saying, is pretty cool details, but honestly not something that will really affect the gameplay, at least from my point of view. I'm the kind of guy that likes to drive third person, I can see a lot more, but if we're going to have these details in first person, maybe I'll drive in first person a bit more, but for the most part, that doesn't really change my mind, but here are some other things I would like to bring up concept-wise that will probably make some of you guys maybe even turn to the first-person driving side. From some of the leaked footage we saw in interiors, whether it was the dash or part of the console, that we're going to be able to have navigation like touch screens, that sort of thing, that we see in most modern cars nowadays. In GTA 5, the interiors were the same old, very early 2000s, like just kind of dials and buttons and a radio. There wasn't any touch screens really, I don't think at all. We had some digital dashes and digital speedometers, but that's about it. We didn't really have any cool touch screens in GTA 5, which was kind of a bummer. So it would be really Really cool for immersion purposes of having this navigation system or one of the touch screens actually route you to your map or destination wherever you're going like in real life I use Apple Maps when I'm driving and it's really cool to see it because it reminds me of GTA but it's also not like in the bottom right corner of my screen it's like right there and I can look over at it so if something like that came to GTA 6 and was really visible and really clear in first person mode that would be really really cool and it would probably make me turn off my radar and map in first person in cars just so I could see that little navigation screen but I don't know we also saw more details of drive-by mechanics you can take different positionings hanging out the window and that sort of stuff which is really cool because most of the drive-by animations in this game make zero sense. It's like you dislocate your wrist and you can turn it 360 degrees and shoot through seats and car. It's it's really weird. Don't get me wrong, it's really convenient and I like the system, but it just looks really awkward. And in like probably all GTA games at this point, we're going to see a bunch of returning cars as well as some new debuted cars. I would definitely like to see better and more improved vehicle deformation. It wasn't always super apparent in GTA 5 because most of our vehicles had armor on it and it wasn't actually able to get crushed up like it sh normally should. GTA 4 for example was a much better deformed vehicle. In GTA 4 the vehicles definitely deformed a bit better and looked a lot cooler when it was crushed and smashed into pieces and that sort of thing so I would definitely like to see some improved GTA 6 vehicle uh, deformities and stuff like that. I think that'd be really cool. GTA 5 added a bunch of really cool upgrades and tuning options and I definitely see Rockstar improving them just tenfold. From GTA 4 to GTA 5 it was light and day, it was one of the coolest systems really out in most racing or open world games at the time. There's probably some op racing games that you know one upped it but especially nowadays the Forza series, the um, there's a bunch of other racing games I don't normally play but there's definitely some higher better detailed tuning options in some of those games but i would definitely love to see some crazy tuning options and upgrade options in gta 6 for all vehicles another thing we saw from the leaks was a construction crane bulldozer sort of thing with a grabbable arm you can imagine so like a bulldozer crane sort of thing where you can go and lift things up kind of like the sky crane helicopter that we use in single player for a mission with uh trevor i believe I think that'd be brilliant to troll people, pick up people's cars, your friends' cars, and then start moving around, towing it around. That's another thing I'd like to see. I'd like to see tow trucks make a comeback to at least online. Single player would probably be there, but I would like to see them online too. 
Or maybe we can use this construction bulldozer grabber thing to do heist. Maybe we can pick up entire bank vaults or safes or something with this. Obviously, it had to be a pretty small safe, but yeah, you'd be able to pick it up with this thing. And they're pretty damn strong, too. They're used for construction, so I could imagine they would pick up some money as well. Stats is another big personal wish for me that I would love to see in GTA 6. I would like to see the top speeds of vehicles. As we know, it kind of has a bar showing your top speed, but it never really gave us a number. Um, acceleration was the same thing uh, the weight of a car all those sorts of details I would really like to see stats wise maybe for example if you're adding an upgrade to your car or some sort of tuning option it may add weight or improve or not improve aerodynamics of the vehicle so the acceleration is a bit slower and the top speed is slowed down by a bit i wouldn't want to see one thing you know drop your top speed 20 30 miles an hour unless it was some massive thing on a truck or something but something like that i would really really like to see i think the gunsmith for modern warfare one and two the recent ones of course where we get to see like every tiny little number in detail when we add an attachment to a weapon and another thing i would love to see for stats is how many miles we have on a vehicle that has been such a big pet peeve of mine because someone like me who's been driving my favorite car in the game the insurgent pickup custom because of the minigun on top the proximity mines it's just a very fun vehicle i would really like to know how many miles i had on it uh how long i've driven it that sort of thing we get time spent in gt online time spent in cars you know that sort of thing how many cars we've stolen if you've ever gone to the stats screen in gta online you could definitely see a lot of things but nothing too specific to your personal items and it's weird because for guns if you went to the award screen i believe in gta online i think it's stats awards or it's just awards i can't remember off the top of my head but you can see how many kills you have with a certain weapon just down to the specific number which is cool but i would like to see that uh, on, like on cars or something maybe how many people you've ran over or how many times you've crashed a specific car that'd be really cool maybe with the update and overhaul we'll be getting to the dashboard navigation and all the little details we'll see in cars i would love to see some miles um total miles as well as definitely an updated speedometer that actually works most vehicles in the game if you're in first person the speedometer will actually show 120 miles per hour i don't know how many that is in kilometers per hour and this number that you see on the dashboard i believe is false if you've used mods in single player or whatnot or even in online if you use a speedometer mod and display it in the corner of your screen you will get a completely different number than what is showing up on the dashboard as well as most vehicles in this game especially the last like six seven years have really felt the same when it came to acceleration at top speeds i know that in racing there's huge differences to this these cars but i would definitely like to have like an f1 car for example just fly at like 200 250 miles an hour if that's even possible i don't even know but and then have like an suv you know kind of maxed out at 100 110 or something like that i would definitely like to see the feel and the difference in each and every vehicle especially when it came to speed i definitely want the speed to be capped it's really weird how it works in gta 5 it has something to do with your frames i'm not entirely sure how it works but it's confusing and stupid enough to not know and just be disappointed in it and i think that's definitely something rockstar is going to improve definitely but yeah let me know your guys thoughts down below i hope you guys enjoyed please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace